Hello YouTube, it's good to see you guys uh, how to fix TVs on YouTube again. This is Sean from DIY Garage Project. Now this is a 42 inch plasma TV Panasonic. Uh, I'll put the model number in the description below. Uh, the problem is this TV uh, tries to start uh, but momentarily it turns off. The, the relay engages in the power board but it shuts off immediately. And uh, in the front panel, if you count the number of LED blinks, that's seven times. Seven times is relating to a specific board in the back, which is uh, the Y sustain board, which is this one. Okay. Now, if you want to make sure that that, it, that is the problem, what you can do is that you can disconnect the power, which is DC. It's still too relatively high voltage. Make sure you're completely grounded and take necessary precautions because 240 volts can kill you and also disconnect that plug over there at the bottom. Now that the 7 blink code should change to a different number, maybe 8 or 9. In my case it went up to 10 or something, what not, whatever, I don't care. But that tells me the problem is in this guy. Okay, So I'll Google the part number which is uh, TNPA 4250, but it's like 120 bucks, not really worth getting a new board. So I went ahead and tried to fix the board. It came out, it's easy fix. First thing I did was check all the capacitors, see if there's any bulging capacitors, blah, 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 any, any obvious damage, nothing. So the next suspect is one of these field effect transistors because if they create a, an, 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 a closed circuit between your source to drain, that means it will short out the whole entire eight, eight field effect transistors. So the, the way I did it was, now, see my screwdriver all you got to do is uh, unsolder the, uh, the the drain and measure the resistance or put your multimeter on diet mode and measure the um, the continuity between this pin and to that pin okay so if you it should be around 400 ohms or something like that but if you create a dead short between these two pins that's going to short out the whole field effect transistors in this in my case it was this guy who was faulty so I replaced him and um, I'm gonna start it up and see what, what happens by the way that that transistor is about two or three bucks but do mind it you can run without the uh, the transistor so if you think there's a suspected transistor unsolder it take it out because there's seven other transistors should give enough power for your TV so because the safety factors built in again it's your own decision to make all right guys I've put everything back together it's missing a couple of screws no big deal but uh, I want to show you what exactly the initial error code was so to simulate that I'm going to disconnect that power line the power supply to this uh, Y sustain board and I'm going to turn this plasma TV on to show you the, exactly what's happening so it tries to power on the fan will spin it's trying to boot up and you can hear the relay click and no two three four five six seven and nothing happens and, and it goes on a loop again 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 Okay, so let's uh, put the power supply back in and uh, see how we fix it. Okay, so hooked up to my uh, Blu-ray player. It's not the tidiest setup out there, but it gets the job done. So I'm going to turn it on and uh, see what happens. It's blinking, blinking. Uh, oh, that's a good sign. There we go. Plasma TV fixed under three dollars. There we go. And for your reference, the part number for that TV is um, TH42PZ700A. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave the comments in the description below, and I'll try to answer as much as I can. Until then, it's Sean. See you later.